You but touch the wall. Do you know you've won? And not until you look back. Yeah, it's an incredible feeling. Like I would feel that feeling again. But you, do you ever? You're never even looking. You're not looking to the um, side. I, you do look at your close competitors and the competitors that you see. Yeah, and especially in the 400 meters, you can see them. Like you can. So that but, last 50 meters. It, you, you any idea whether you're ahead or not? Um, like you can sense that they're there, but only but, the two closest. Yeah, the closest. So it's not really. And also, if you're looking at them, you're getting distracted. Right. So on that last fifty, you just want to. Sometimes when I do hard stuff, I would close my eyes in the water just to be so in the zone and focused. And like people always say, how how do you um like see where you're going? And I was like, I just know. I just you're never you know, really looking where you're going. No, are you? no, no. And I would just you know when you like when you're sleep you're thinking about things or when you've got that eyes closed you're so like just focusing in that aura of just swimming and feeling everything and feeling like what your body's going through and feel your heart rate feeling like the touch of the water I would just so cl close my eyes and just think I've got one length I'm just going to give it everything I've got and then you touch you're dead but all that hard feeling that feeling of exhaustion goes when you see like you've got a world record or a personal best or a gold medal and the, so the, you touch and then you yeah. where does the, where's the, so the, the, is it behind it's, you it's normally yeah normally right the other side of the pool so the, the finishing is there and then you look and you're like oh yeah you can see you see yourself see your and name. then you do that thing where you go back yeah oh. yeah and you're like oh and then you go, say thank you the, 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 the yeah, two other side yeah and they've probably haven't finished and, like fifth or sixth oh, well yeah and then you're like yeah. and then you're buzzing it's like it's a drug and it's an addiction so, okay, so as, as, as a 13 year old, it's a surprise. As a 17 year old coming into your home games, it was like less euphoria, more relief when you won. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Because leading into, as I said, after Beijing, the countdown was on in 2012. And I think the media then picked up on me. And the whole public expected me to go into London 2012, getting another gold medal. So there was a lot of pressure mm -hmm. on my shoulders. And like you said, Demet, like people. I was one of those names, you know, the likes with Johnny Peacock, and Hannah Cockcroft and David Weir, that we were like one of the faces of the games. So there was that added pressure. Yeah. So um, for me, when I got that first gold medal in the 400 free with the home crowd, like 17,500 people cheering, watching, and I knew there was probably people watching at home that I just wanted to get that gold medal because like seeing in the public and walking down the streets, people are like, oh, you're going to go and get that gold. And, you know, they've got that medal around your neck even before oh, it ha worst. happens. Can only and imagine. So, um, like, I just wanted to make sure that I'd got that gold medal so that I, I'd done it. So, yeah, yeah when, I, like we said earlier, when we touch the, touch the wall and you see your name, I was just so happy that... I saw my name and it was a gold medal and it was a personal best. And also I had an, an incredible rivalry between an American um, who actually, a couple of months before London 2012, um, broke my world record that I had at the time. Um, so I I actually wasn't going into London favourite because right. in the in even though favourite from the general public, mm -hmm. actually in the swimming world, this American was the favourite because she was world record holder. So... There was all that conflict sure. as well, so I knew that it was gonna. I was gonna have to give the race of my life to come away with that gold medal and eight lengths when you're racing one of your and and we want to beat Americans, don't mm -hmm. we? You know what? Um, so I I saw her all the time and I was like, I just want to beat you and get get this medal and yeah, I did. Say that to her. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> it's like wow. <laughs> no, no, no. It's very but, uncharacteristic but, yeah. of, the, of how I've got to know you. It seemed like really no, nice. No. But, um, hey, you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you yank. <laughs>